Hello to everyone. Uh, my name is Alejandro Hernandez. Uh, I'm a robotic engineer at L Robotics, and today we'll talk to you about uh, the robot Blockly package, uh, programming in uh, with blocks. Uh, it's the first time that L Robotics has a talk here uh, in the Roscon, so let me tell you uh, some words about our company. Uh, at L Robotics, we aim to simplify robots and artificial intelligent creation, and to do so, we build the next generation of artificial robotic brains. So you have interest about this work, please don't miss the talk about my colleague, uh, Victor Mayoral, who is going to present today uh, our last relevant work uh, about the hardware robot operating system. So let's start with uh, the presentation. And I would like to start uh, talking a little bit uh, about our experience teaching robotics. And for several weeks, we talk uh, different groups going from high school to PhD level and how to make use of our robots. While most of the people clearly understand uh, the different mechanical part of a robot, understand the underlying software uh, is something that took quite a bit of effort. And when making our training season, one of the first things we try to introduce is the concept of ROS. While there are many resources uh, of this topic, it is a fact that learning ROS take uh, some effort. So we start prototyping uh, some ideas to make this process as simple as possible. So this makes us to look in, into systems like Scratch for robot programming. And the output of this prototype has become uh, Robot Blockly, a multi-platform web-based tool for programming robots and drones that use ROS. But we are going to start step by step. and. First of all, this, this, uh, this work has been inspired by Scratch, which is a visual programming language. Uh, uh, this means that we are not going to see any code. We are only going to program with, with blocks. So Scratch was designed in 2003 as an educational programming language by the MIT. And Scratch is primarily designed for 8 to 18 uh, year old, but it's also used by people uh, of all ages. So this is uh, Blockly, which is the second word of, of the package. And Blockly is the efforts of Google to transform Scratch in a web-based application. So it's allowed with pages to include a visual code editor. In our case, we are going to use Python because it's fully supported by ROS and also by Blockly, and we don't have to compile uh, any code. So this is uh, Minch Resnick, which is the creator of uh, Scratch. And he thought that we shouldn't think about young people as digital native. So young people spend most of their time using new technologies. So they are really comfortable uh, and familiar, browsing, chatting, texting, gaming. But it doesn't really make you fluent with new technologies. So young people have a lot of experience interacting with new technologies, but a lot less of at creating and expressing themselves with new technologies. As we can see in this picture, people normally take and use uh, technologies. It's almost as if they could read, but not write. In robotics, that really means that they need to be able to write their own computer programs or code. So now I want to launch a question. How many people here is fluent in Korean? Okay, anyone? <laughs> How many people here is, speak, is fluent sorry, in, in Spanish? Okay. How many people here is fluent in Python? Okay. As I expected, uh, most people here are uh, able to, to speak or to be fluent in a, in a programming language than uh, in a foreign language. For example, in Spain, we normally learn uh, English as the second uh, foreign language, or one of the first foreign language, the second language. So in other countries, so the third language normally is uh, French or Germany. But nowadays, it make, makes sense that learn a new uh, digital language as a programming language, for example. So increasingly, people are starting to recognize the importance of, of learning how to code. For example, the New York mayor, Mike Blurman, is taking uh, coding classes uh, nowadays. And the Estonian government has started teaching uh, the first grader uh, how to code. And normally people think uh, coding is like this. And, and in fact, uh, if this is what coding is like, 
it will be only a narrow soft community of people with a special mathematical skills and a technological background that can code. But we need to engage new people in programming and on in programming uh, robots. So by using Scratch, or in this case, Robot Blockly, people are able to, to become fluent with new technologies. They are able to express uh, their ideas with them by, by programming. So for this reason, we have created Robot Blockly, which is a ROS package that allows users to create ROS-based algorithms and behaviors, abstracting its complexity using blocks. The aim of this package is to hide the complexity of programming ROS, of programming robots, sorry, via functional blocks. So, so this is a robot Logly. As you can see here, we have different buttons just to launch the code or save or load your uh, blocks. And if we click this button, we can see the, the, the blocks. In, this is the, these first blo uh, blocks are in general blocks, like uh, variables, or this thing, so maths, loops, functions, and so many things, okay? It's just quite simple to use these uh, blocks. It's just only dragging and moving the interface, right? And in the, in the top of, so in, the, in, the, in the below of the, of the image, we can see the, the supported uh, robots, and in this case, we can see the blocks that, for example, stand up, uh, early spider, okay. or for example, early brain that contain uh, calibration for the sensor, or just different kind of algorithm, like start different 2D lasers, or SLAM algorithms. Okay. So, if we take a look to the architecture of Robot Blockly, we have two different sides. Uh, in one side, we have the front end, which is uh, the, the, the interface that I you in the, the last slide, which is right all in JavaScript and HTML. And in the other side, we have the back end, which contains the logic of the application. And this logic is going to understand the blocks that we have uh, created in the, in the front end and substitute this block by uh, Python code, on, or in this case, uh, ROS code. And we have two main folders. One is blocks, which contain the shape of all of the blocks that uh, Blockly contains. And the other one is generators that contain the Python code of, uh, which is going to be linked with the block. And if we think about the workflow, it's, uh, it's just simple. Yeah, we only need to, to build our own uh, blocks, just dragging and moving uh, blocks. We are going to launch, uh, we are going to click in the button and the block is going to send back to the logic with a web socket. And the logic is going to take care about everything, the ROS node, topics, uh, action, or, or, or whatever. And uh, the, the backend all the time is sent to the front end, uh, the state of the, of the block. So we are, we are be able to see uh, which block is uh, executing uh, each time. So if, if we take a look to the structure, okay, to move this here, okay, of Robot Logly. Okay, I have my fork here of the code, right? So it's a common uh, ROS package. You can see the CMake list.txt and the package.xml. Here the main folder is the front end. So here we have ace builds. This package is uh, right on JavaScript and is able to highlight the code in the, in the browser. And also the Blockly folder is uh, the, 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 the blocks uh, generator. So if we go to the blocks folder, oh, sorry. We can see here the different uh, robots that are the rover, the spider, or the brain. So we open one, for example, a rover. You can see the license, right? And you can see the JavaScript code that generate the shape, right? So this is quite simple. In the following slide, we are going to see how can we create this kind of uh, things. And in the generators file folder, sorry, uh, 
we can select the the the, the programming language in this kind in this case is Python, Python scripts, and also we are going to select Rover again, and um, for example the mode. So this is the code that is going to be substituted by the block that change the mode of, of the rover. As you can see, it's uh, ROS code is quite simple and it's, uh, I think it's really easy to create your own blocks. Okay. So if you would like to create your own blocks, you don't have to know about JavaScript if you don't know. Um, we have an interface, it's the same as Blockly. You can drag and move different uh, blocks to the definition box, and in the preview, in the top right of the image, we can see uh, the preview of the block that we are creating. So in the language code, we are going to see the, the JavaScript code that we have to include in the blocks uh, folder. And the last one box, the generator box, uh, is going to, to be your, your ROS code. You have to write there your ROS code and include in the generator uh, file. So I have some recommendation for you. The first one is to use ROSPy, wait for message, because you have to be sure that we have to receive the data from a publisher in the code block. So if we, if we use callback, we are not completely sure that you are receiving data in, in this code block. And also you have to check um, all the thing about ROS is the, if the ROS node is launched and the topics, because the, the user that use the front end don't, don't care about uh, the, the ROS, okay? So let's see uh, what can we program with Robot Blockly. So in this example, we got uh, early spider with uh, early brain in the top with a camera. So we are going to show uh, the red color to the spider and the spider is going to turn to the right or to the left if, uh, if the spider see the color. So you can see how the code with this executing is highlighted. And also with, uh, I don't know, 20 or 15 blocks, we are able to create a, a behavior. Not so complex, but enough to move a spider. So in this other example, we have a spider again with a 2D laser, and we create an algorithm to move uh, around a maze. So again, you can see that with only 20 blocks, we are able uh, to move the spider. So just imagine that just in one day or in a few hours, you are able to move a spider using ROS. So you don't know nothing about ROS, but uh, you are able to, to move spiders and, or to move robots in this case, and, and I think it's, it's really cool. So in the first two blocks, uh, we can calibrate the IMU of the spider and also start the, the laser of, of, the, of the spider. So just a few, 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 sorry, <laughs> few blocks and just to move a, a robot. And the last example is a little bit more, more complex and just is executing also the same algorithm that uh, we have before in the other uh, example, but now we are able to create an SLAM algorithm. So the interface of Blogly allows you to see the, the map that the spider is generating. So again, with few blocks, just adding uh, the, the, the green uh, uh, loop, we are able to create the map. So in yellow, you can see the initial position of the spider, and in the purple curve, you are able to see the, the path of the spider in the world. Okay. So to conclude my presentation, uh, this kind of package make it easy how to teach robotics, and also make accessible robotics uh, for people who don't have programming skills. So make it easy, this, this enter on, on this wall. And many people can ask me, that, okay, there are so many uh, other uh, solution to, to program with blocks, and I say yes. But uh, for example, LabVIEW or Simulink, but they are not easily extensible. And also are proprietary, so that is mean that you have to pay a license. And Robot Logly is, is free. So nowadays, uh, we are not the only one who, who build their own Robot Logly uh, blocks. There are companies like Shadow Robotics building its own blocks to move their manipulator, these hand manipulators. 
And I think one of the most important thing here is the license, which is open source, license under GPL version 3. So if you, are, you can have uh, interest on, on this, you can fork the code and start prototyping your ideas or prototyping your blocks to make this more bigger. And if you don't have the language or if you don't have the knowledge to do this thing, you can reach us out or hire us to help you during the process. So are you ready to jump into robotics? Become a roboticist programming with blocks. Thank you. No question? Everything clear? <laughs> if I have a custom robot, how can I, I, I mean not like your spider or something, how can I use this interface? I mean, can you speak a little bit louder? Uh, if I have a, a custom hardware, not, not, not the hardware, this uh -huh. is it. Can I input a model inside it? That uh, you would like to include your own robot, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's quite simple. You only have to fork the code and, and just build your own uh, blocks. So uh, I explained that you have uh, the code, that the blocks and generator files, so you only have to include your code in these two, file, two folders and just uh, include your own hardware. Oh, so, so no need to mapping like the I.O. between the blocks and the interface. Can you speak louder, please? Uh, like, so, so don't, no need the like mapping the I.O. between our robot hardware and the blocks, blocky. I mean. So you can include the, the robot that you would like. You only have to program your hardware. Uh, I make my hardware and using yeah, yeah. this. You, you can internet. build your hardware or your robot, and you can include in, in uh, robot Vogli. You only oh, have to include the section of your robot and um, oh, okay. make the pull request to the main repository. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, hi. Hello. Um, I was curious on the interface you had with the mapping. Um, what other kind of extensions might you have where you can uh, visualize other uh, representations of information to the to the student or to the user? Um, mm -hmm. Are you using uh, what machinery are you using for that? So the, the question is that how you're, we, you're, we, you're exposing some of the topics or mm -hmm. um, messages? No, we are not exposing the topic. We only expose the information that is useful for the user. For example, in the case of the slam, we only see the map and the position of the robot. So you don't, you don't know nothing about the topics and this thing because it's hidden uh, because of the blocks. Is, is that done in the browser? Um, are no, you no, using no. Some... topics are, and notes are not exposed in the browser. Oh, okay. I was just talking about the visualization. Because the, the, the people or the person who write the blogs have to take care about topics and notes. The user uh, don't need to know about this. 